change wardrobes with my brother. And now I have like a huge wardrobe. In addition to my smaller clothing rack. In order to change the wardrobes, I had to take everything out of my old one. And it is currently looking like this. So let's sort some stuff out and put it into my new wardrobe. Organized, like pretty organized. I have a bunch of hangers. So let's start with all my dresses, which I'm gonna hang there. I really need to buy new, more aesthetic hangers or similar hangers because I have these wooden ones. And you can see in the video that all my hangers are probably completely different. Oh, so gorgeous. This is my second dress. It's a sheer mesh dress from the children's section at the thrift store. This dress is like perfect for summer. <coughs> Next up we have this dress. It gives me massive this house vibe vibes. I need an occasion to wear this. I made this, which is pretty gorgeous. <coughs> Two summer dresses. This one and this one. I don't know how to properly hang this either, so I'm just gonna throw that over the top of the hanger. This was my prom slash graduation dress. I made completely on my own. I'm wooding the rest of my dresses here. And I also think I'm gonna hang up all my vests. First up we have this vintage one. I recently thrifted. Just the basic black one. Another one which is striped and has some kind of ruffles. A thick leather vest and it's slowly falling apart because it's not real leather. A fur vest. This is not real fur. No. I forgot a few more dresses. They are probably dresses that I barely wear. I have this one. You can like tie it in the middle and I'm definitely going to upcycle that. And one of my favorite dresses, especially for winter. And it fits perfectly. Next up, three more dresses. I don't know when I should wear them. That's a problem. This dress, I think it can also be worn as a skirt, but also as a dress. And now the last one is a mini dress with a small turtleneck attached. It had long sleeves before, but I just cut them off. Let's be real, when I wear a mini skirt outside, it has to be hot, like really hot. And I'm not wearing long sleeves on a day where it is hot. Next up, we're gonna sort my skirts and pants. And they're gonna have one of those spaces each because I have a lot of pants and skirts. We have this floral spring skirt, a wash denim skirt, and I'm not giving that away because wash denim it looks gorgeous. Next up, ooh, is the skirt I never wore, but I bought it and I want to wear it because it's also a denim skirt, also midi, a ruffled midi skirt. I'm obsessed with. Everything that consists any type of ruffles. This is a black asymmetrical skirt, which I could also wear as a top. I already wore it as a top. So basic and so versatile. I'm just gonna keep that. A pretty gorgeous skirt. And I still need an event to wear this. This one is pretty uncomfortable to walk in. This one is a mix between a maxi and a midi skirt. I think it's more maxi. I haven't found a white maxi skirt yet, which won't cost me like my arm or my leg. The last one is this white skirt. <gasps> a few pants. My first ever real sewing project. I wore them like for so long. But this was like my real first baggy baggy pair of pants. Two simple and basic pairs of baggy pants. I need them. I can style almost everything with them. Even when I don't have an idea what I should wear on this day some pants with like this camouflage print i don't know what i should do with them like i bought them once because i wanted them so bad it's a pair of straight leg jeans let's sell them i have to let go now we have a pair of perfect fitting rifted flared jeans with a wash look i uploaded them on winter a while ago and then i decided no um i want to keep them because they are so precious. Capri jeans. They seem to be pretty basic or simple. I think the fact that they are Capri pants spice them up a lot. Some really simple suit pants in black. Now we have some pretty cool cargo pants. I think they are pretty in general, but not on me. I think on me they don't look good. So I'm gonna sell them. Gem of me are these. Um, strapped shorts 
I wore them many many years ago then I hated them because they looked so basic and now I found them again and I found a way to style them properly some jorts with this ripped look here and here at the top because I removed the waistband I also made them not quite long ago now we're doing all my long sleeves slash pullovers an expensive Burlington pullover but it makes my shoulders look very broad I don't mind that I can wear a vest or something else on top those big knitted sweaters I love them cute pink sweater one tip when you go secondhand shopping buy for every season when you find something in the summer that you think is perfectly for winter just buy it because when you come back later it's probably not going to be there anymore buy it two other just basic sweaters that are probably just going to wear at home this is probably my last sweater i think it's also is um handmade i traded it on a platform i think they said it was handmade i don't know what i thought when i bought this but i think i would wear this in the winter also a lot of just basic shirts i got this one is a mesh long sleeve you have to wear something underneath but the good thing is i also wore this in summer as a top like this tiktok hack where you tie it like this diagonally this is a pretty good hack by the way i have a lot of off shoulders in black perfect for winter my sweaters were very colorful but all my tight fitting long sleeves they are pretty dark colored next up we would have t-shirts but i have to go to work so i'm gonna do t-shirts when i come back or tomorrow i don't know my room is still pretty messy but um not as messy as before so this was part one of reorganizing my closet in general reorganizing my whole room hope you enjoyed it and see you soon for the next part i've already filmed obviously because i'm sitting here in the finished reorganized room and like subscribe and comment see you soon for part two love ya bye